Knicks came out here strong, and of course, it was headlined by none other than OG Ananobi on his <clears> return. <throat> CK, this guy comes back off of getting surgery on his elbow to remove, I, I think it was a floating bone, right? And this guy yeah. comes out here, gets you 14 points six on 6 of 11 shooting. Nick knocks down two of five from threes, gets you four rebounds, two assists, one steal. But the stat line doesn't do it justice. The stat line does not do what he did tonight justice because when you just watch him on defense, man, this is where you got two in the games and not box score watch. When you watch him on defense, versatility is how I describe his game. This man was covering everybody. Didn't matter if it was on the perimeter, in the paint, whatnot. And he was doing everything you needed to do on defense as well as offense because this guy was not only knocking down shots, right? He was creating for himself. He was cutting, getting these open passes, and then look, he looked fine, CK. He looked fine. He's making dunks. You know, yeah. every time he's going up there, you're worried that, you know, you're worried about that, that elbow, but this man yeah. is still, still making it seem like it's all good and breezy easy out there. So, yeah. OG man on his return, Knicks get back in that winning column. What were your yeah. thoughts about his game tonight? Yeah, I, I think there's the concern that a lot of us have. We saw the the heavy ice on the the elbow, but we we knew that he was going to be coming back at like 75, 80 percent. He's still playing his first game back from the surgery. He did come back from a surgery. He is medically cleared. He's good to play. The ice, uh, we got to let that slide. We'll be okay. But other than that, like you said, man, the way that he spun into that dunk in the um, third quarter, I'm not concerned. He's doing just fine. I also loved seeing the mid-range jumper make a reappearance because that was one of my favorite uh, newfound tricks from OG Ananobi since he's donned the Knicks jersey because uh, we didn't see much of that in Toronto. Um, and we saw right before the injury, he was doing a lot of that. Um, so we got a little bit of a taste of that. So that's not going anywhere because I love that aspect of his game. But more than that is the defense. It just it, it just opened up for everybody. And just him being on the floor, I'm out there watching uh, Bogdanovich and, and Dante mm -hmm. over there sliding their feet, playing crazy defense and not getting stops. Uh, just his impact is, is incredible. So happy for him to be back. Uh, the team looks better with them there and, you know, better late than never, because if I had to watch another 73 to 79 game against the 79ers, I wouldn't have been happy. And OG was a big part of today's dog. <laughs> yeah, the 79ers. Yo, That's the name watching the night, OG yo. back on the court, man, I, I got to ask you, do you think that this it, it's just noticeable, right? How this team as a whole takes a step forward and we don't even have Randall back. We don't have Mitchell Robinson yeah. back. Like, Isaiah Hartenstein, you can still, like, he's looking good. Like, it looks like yeah. he's getting back to the swing of things. But you still you see, like, there's some instances where he's worried about his Achilles. But even with all of that, how much of a, a leap do you see this team taking moving forward with OG back? Or is it just because we're playing a depleted 76ers team? No, uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not using that excuse anymore because we depleted too. Even with OG coming back into the rotation, we are still very much depleted. Missing guys like Mitchell Robinson, All Star Julius Randle. Don't talk to me about us not being depleted. Yes, Julius, uh, uh, Joel Embiid is a big piece of the Philadelphia 76ers, but they still got Tobias over there, who I, we, was, we were hearing was having a good season this year before the injury. This name, that name. So I, I, the depleted stuff. I'm still taking that badge over here because we still got to get our pieces back before the Infinity Gauntlet is ready to go. Um, mm -hmm. But for the main part to your question, um, yeah, no, it, it, we need we need games like this. And um, I think one of the the good things we were eight and ten since January 27th when we lost OG Ananobi, which isn't great, but it's not terrible either because we were able to win some big games after sliding from some other big games during that stretch of games. So now you're seeing OG come back and you're instantly seeing what we've been missing that perimeter defense. We're seeing that he can help us with an extra 15 to possibly 17, maybe on some good nights in the 20s from OG Ananobi, something that we didn't have before. And my favorite aspect is now if OG is making that corner three or if OG is making any shot, Jalen Brunson is about to get a little bit more open. And also tonight, <laughs> if you're having Josh Hart continue to play aggressive as he's playing, Brunson's going to keep getting a little a bit more open and maybe he won't be the most double team player in the NBA anymore so there's so many aspects to just having OG Ananobi back so it, we, it can't go anywhere but up from now and hopefully the Knicks ride that high and not get too complacent knowing that we just got one of our guys back we still got to play with that we're down and out mentality and we're going to make sure we prove everybody wrong I think we'll be fine Josh mm. Hart Getting that triple-double, 20 points, 19 rebounds, 18 of those were defensive, and 10 assists. 
went eight to 16 from the field today. Josh Hart just on one. I'm not a big fan of the plus minus stat, but he got a plus 32 tonight. Josh Hart doing the damn thing tonight, helping the New York Knicks. Man gets a standing ovation, and rightfully so. Josh Hart, fourth, fourth triple double this season, CK. Pretty, pretty sure that it is his fourth career, career wise, all four of them coming in this season alone. So kudos to Josh Hart, man. He's been doing yeah. the damn thing. Yeah, I, I said two. My fault. I, I meant fourth. I, I meant to say two recent because he had one the other week. But yeah, no, one hundred percent. Like like we were saying, like he proved Tibbs right. Um, the spacing made sense for everybody. Um, any worries we had about it not working with him, uh, Brunson, OG in the same lineup, that's out the window because everyone were in this space, got in their spaces, and defensively, it just was the best uh, lineup. Uh, Josh Hart looked good. Like it, this is what we want. I think this is the guy we want to see more consistently i mean we're getting back to april we're right around the corner from april and it's in everybody's head that final moment in miami so i think that's where the worries come when it comes to josh hart and if josh hart is doing this which he's been i'm gonna give him his flowers for the last two weeks when we were injured and we were down and out for the mo most part in those two weeks hart has been this version he's been aggressive he hasn't been turning down shots attacking the paint when everybody else is just selling for threes this is what we want to see, Mr. Hart, Mr. You know, Mr. Uh, uh, roommates podcast. Like, this is what we want to see from you because we all know that you can do it. You have this ability to get the triple doubles like this. And if it's not a triple double on a nightly basis, which I know it's not going to happen, for the most part, you're going to get your shot because we want to see you get that shot. You're one of the strongest guys, if not the strongest guy on this uh, team that's not named Julius Randle. And you should be able to bully guys in the paint and get those kind of buckets around the rim like he did tonight. And I think that's just the big frustration with a lot of folks, myself included, because we know that this guy can be here on a consistent basis. Maybe not triple doubles, but we know that we can get this version of Josh Hart. And if we do, man, when we're fully healthy and we have Josh Hart doing this kind of stuff, adding this element to this team, Come on, man. So big shot for him. And like you said, four triple doubles, all in his career, all in the Knicks uniform. Come on, man. Come Yo, on, man. Like, let's let's be real. Let's go. After starting off the season rocky, complaining about, you know, lack of minutes, not getting an offensive rhythm, not mm. having too many minutes. By the way, he said, once OG comes back, my minutes will reduce from not having to play 40 plus minutes per night. And it's true. It did reduce. Yeah. He did not play yeah. 40 minutes tonight. He only played 39. So there you go, Josh Hart. You got 39 <laughs> minutes tonight. Tom Thibodeau gave you a favor. Um, <laughs> what's funny enough is that Tibbs said uh, in the presser uh, that Josh Hart was complaining that Tibbs took him out too early so he couldn't get couldn't get that 20th rebound to get a 20 20 10, which, yeah. you know, that would have been, been sick, man. That would have been sick for Josh I Hart. I wanted it, yeah. The last 10 games for Josh Hart, CK, he's been averaging 43 minutes. This doesn't include tonight. He's been averaging 43 minutes. He's averaging 16 points, shooting 45% from the field, shooting 37% from downtown. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, free throws got to take a step up, Josh. All right. You're, you're shooting 61%. We can't be having that. On, on three attempts per game, we can't be having that. But he's averaging 12 rebounds and six assists. Josh Hart has been putting in that work, man, with everybody yeah. being down. And, you know, even when you listen to that roommate's podcast and how Brunson and him and Dante are all talking how Josh Hart likes to just complain just to, you know, let it off the chest. Sometimes people just vent, man, not being necessarily like, yes, is it bothering them? But, yeah, sure, maybe a little bit, but he'll go out there and still do the, his job, man. Anything that Tibbs or his teammates ask of him, he goes out there and he does that. And you got to give, you got to tip your cap, man, because for a yeah. guy who was struggling to begin the season, plus, by the way, playing on an injured knee that he's managing on this season, let's keep that in mind. He's managing an, a, a sore knee, right? For, and still playing 40 plus minutes a night, 39 tonight. Josh Hart has definitely made his money worth just by the amount of production he, we've been given with, he's been giving since this, all the injuries for this team.